I think drawing is a language. The notion of a nonverbal communication. I think drawings pretty primal, and I think all those things intrigue me about it, and um, the viscerality of it. When I started out in the early 70s, making art and going to school, it was sort of very structured. It was still the era that you know drawing was preparatory. I never saw it that way. I actually saw it as this open door I could go through, so it just seemed like, oh, okay, well, I love drawing, I'm gonna do this. And then I started drawing on walls. My very early work was a lot um, with wax and pigment and smearing of walls was actually my body movement on the wall. Kind of this notion of marking the space with my body. It's really being in the room and almost having the walls tell me what they want me to do. I sort of think of life in a slightly fleeting manner. I think vulnerability in the body and impermanence, all those things have been part of my work and probably the wall drawings that then disappear. What makes something obsolete? You take it out of context or you bring it forward it changes. It's beautiful and it's also, the ephemeralness is partially what the viewer I think is aware of. I've always been really inspired by poetry yeah, and I think that actually drawing is like kind of writing poetry. Of course, with the piece at MoMA, both the artists, the archives that I chose that we looked at were poets, Vito Akanshi and James Lee Byers. I don't make the separation between drawing and photography, film. I draw really with the camera. To me, they're all coming from the same source. What is a drawing or what is a wall drawing? And that changes as you change because you're continually evolving. 